And welcome to day 6 of the Atlantic Hurricane season, day 23 in the Eastern Pacific and we have our first storm of the season in the Atlantic Ocean, that in the form of Tropical Storm Andrea, which is currently in the Gulf of Mexico and is expected to move quite quickly off to the northeast into Florida and beyond. Um, more on that forecast in a minute. We also have Invest 98W in the Western Pacific, that's all that's going on at the moment, only two areas of interest which is actually not as many as we've seen recently though we do have a storm um, here's 98 west here in the western pacific near the philippines just off to the east of the philippine islands and that looks fairly decent at the moment and that may develop or may wane and dissipate over the next few days it remains to be seen at the moment and more on that very shortly and of course we have the atlantic with tropical storm andrea which just formed in the past few hours with a, it's a 40 mile per hour storm uh, with an air pressure of 1002 millibars onto the forecast for Andrea very shortly um, as, that, as there are warnings in effect on that one already and in the Indian Ocean we had 96A which um, went into Oman and sort of dissipated by now um, and of course in the Indian Ocean elsewhere not much going on at the moment uh, apart from the North Indian Ocean Bay of Bengal uh, where there's a little bit of clouds at the moment but uh, nothing tagged as an invest Looking at the sea surface temperatures, things remain fairly similar to what's been recently. The Pacific still warm, the Atlantic, the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean still 28 degrees um, in some areas, 27 for the most part in those regions. Um, and looking at the North Indian Ocean towards the very northern coasts, those are where the warmest waters are, 30 degrees or more. And around the Philippines, waters of 30 degrees quite commonly here and where 98W is currently located, uh, water temperatures are around 30 degrees at the moment. So here's Tropical Storm Andrea, the first storm of the Atlantic Hurricane season 2013, uh, forming on the sixth day of the season. Here's the uh, tracking map, which shows the current track. Expected to make landfall in Florida, in northern Florida, as a tropical storm in around 24 to 36 hours time. And then um, skirt up the eastern coast, so that's why there are tropical storm watches already in effect for um, up to, as far as the uh, North Carolina coastline. And then it's expected to turn extra tropical as it goes out to sea in the Atlantic. Uh, more on that in the models very soon. Tropical storm warnings in effect for much of the uh, eastern Florida coast, uh, the western coast rather, and a tropical storm watch in effect for Flagler Beach, Florida to Surf City, North Carolina. Out Looking at the latest satellite imagery, you can see here Andrea forming in the Gulf of Mexico. This is the past day or so um, on the satellite imagery. You can see it slowly moving very slightly towards perhaps the north northeast at the moment slowly towards the Florida coast it's expected to speed up over the next few days and make landfall in Florida as a tropical storm no stronger uh, luckily um, we have Invest 98 as well here near the Philippines you can see the Philippine Islands to the left over there that's looking um, fairly decent at the moment you can see lots of cloud cover over it some intense cloud tops as well um, forming at the moment but uh, that remains to be seen whether that one will form or not that's just been tagged today after Invest 97W dissipated to the south of the Philippine Islands and um, we also here's the models the CMC models um, basically picking up on what I said um, with the storm moving northeast into the Florida coast and then up the eastern coast turning extra tropical along the way it also predicts um, an East Pacific storm at the, at the end of that one as well the ECMWF is in agreement with a storm making landfall somewhere in Florida, you can sort of see that there it is at the start, um, and then moving up the east coast through um, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, and then out to sea at some point, um, and then moving out as an extra tropical storm. The GFS, something fairly similar, perhaps a tad more inland, um, making landfall in Florida where it curves around the Panhandle area, and then moving out to sea as an extra tropical low, and the NavGen picks up on it too perhaps with it moving out towards the east a little bit earlier than the other models um, over the uh, Virginia um, Virginia coast and then out to sea. The GFDL model you can see the storm moving through Florida and then moving off the coast of North Carolina as a tropical storm or with tropical, tropical storm force winds uh, perhaps turning extra tropical by that point and then perhaps striking Nova Scotia as well and you can also see um, a bit of a um, storm forming in the Pacific as well same with the HWRF uh, um, as for Andrea you can see it moving through the eastern coast again uh, not as strong as it appears on the HWRF there and what does this mean for the predictor season scores for June the 6th 2013 well for the top eight at least the points are dropping because they probably predicted zero in their 
predictions or left the Atlantic side out at least where it defaults to zero anyway. So Ken is at top with 109, Ivory and Bob with 102 and Theo with 101, that's the top three. You can submit your own storm totals at the Force 13 website, it's not too late. Uh, forward slash interactive, just find predictor season 2013, there's still lots of points up for grabs, points slowly increment downwards as time goes on uh, because that reflects the skill level in predicting more early and more late and getting the accuracy right of course. And what happened on this day on June the 6th, and it's quite quiet in comparison, but in 1964 Tropical Depression 1 made landfall in northern Florida causing $1 million in damages, not, not far from the um, projected landfall area for Andrea as a matter of fact. In 1968 Tropical Storm Abbey made landfall in Jacksonville, Florida. In 1982 Tropical Storm Alberto dissipated near the Florida Keys. In 85 Tropical Storm Blanca formed in the eastern Pacific and in 1986 Subtropical Storm Andrew turned to tropical in the Atlantic. Um, and of course in uh, the next page, in 1995 Hurricane Allison turning post-tropical in the Atlantic, in 1999 Typhoon Maggie making landfall in China causing 9 fatalities and $170 million in damages and in 2012 Typhoon Mawa turned post-tropical in the Western Pacific. And don't forget, you can track any storm that forms, including Andrea, of course, at the Force 13 website, force13.com forward slash stormtracking.html. That link is, um, will take you straight there in the, uh, just below the YouTube video. It's linked there. And you can search basin by basin, see what storms are going on, where they're going, the warnings, any, other, any other information that is of interest. And you can also visit the social pages, of course, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. We're, all, we're on all of those on Force 13. Just search it, you should find it fairly easily. And don't forget to show your support by liking, subscribing and following. And there's another, uh, another bulletin tomorrow with an update on Andrea during the day on, on June the 6th.